it's Jennifer from Gentle Soaps and today we're going to have some more fun with those PVA bags. We're going to be making single serving hand soap. So we're going to make an itty 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 bitty this time. They were pretty small before but I'm going to show you how small we can go. All right let's get something. All right so now we're going to make little itty bitty individual hand soap. In the last video I showed you how to make a full size like um, shower gel size, so you take it and take it to the gym with you. Alrighty, so we are gonna start filling these this way. A nice big syringe. This is a Satsuma soap, and if you wanna know how I made this soap, um, there's a couple videos on liquid soap on my, si on my channel are willing you are more than welcome to come join me while I teach you how to make the soap so this is a handmade soap so we want to give it a little extra room and I've cranked it all the way to the top I go one and two three and then I'll pull it off on that side just because it's easier and gives me a cleaner edge see that now I'm going to Divide it up. I've got a little a chopstick or something here I can use just to make it a little easier. Oh, a little knife will work. So we need about that much for each one. Now we should be able to do four. May not, but that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to make four. So one. single use. Okay. Now it's a little tricky. Didn't quite give myself enough space. If you do that, you'll end up forcing it out. There you go. So there's four. tricky with gloves on. It's easier if you just wash your hands, which I did, but it seems like people on... Okay, that's it. I'm taking them off, guys. Sorry. I'll wash them again right in front of you. You know how clean my hands are. I'm messing with that. It's just too slippery. Here, we'll use one of these little soap. Let me dry my hands off. Alright, so we'll pull one of the little soap out, show you how it works. Here, let's use this one right here. Alright, so I'm going to just get it wet. Okay, I've got it wet. It starts to dissolve. Look at that. Mm, that smells amazing. I like a Setsuma. That's strong. Oh, a nice strong orange scent. That is incredible. And the bubbles. This is my soap. It has so many beautiful bubbles. Um, it's made from natural oils, potassium hydroxide. It's not a detergent, so it's not going to dry your hands necessarily as much as some of the commercial preparations out there. Super, super fun. I'm not putting those gloves back on. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm making it without it. It's just, I couldn't get it open at all. All right, so let's just dry and get real with you here. Okay. So I'm going to put in a little bit more. that again. And we're going to give it a little more space this time. One, two, three. Okay, we're 
mark it again. I'm gonna start on this end. Okay, so instead of two, you get four. And it's got less in it as well. one. Put a little bit of air in there, so I'm just going to get some of that air out. And I know it's fiddly, but people love these. I love them. I love how handy they are, and I'm taking these with me on the airline this weekend, so let's see what they say. Now I've got, I'll be trying different ones each time I do one of these different suppliers um, of, the, of the PVA because I know there's some out there that will hold really watery products. Just gotta find them. I think it's the hot water PVA. This is cold water PVA, oops. Now there's a tiny one. Look how tiny we can go. <laughs> it's a chiclet size. A little too big. For a single wash. Even these little ones you can almost use for a whole shower. If you've got a puff. You actually can. than shrink wrapping so and in fact if you have those big shrink wrap systems give it a try it might work and it'll go super fast now if you <laughs> squeeze these they will pop ask me how I know <laughs> this morning I had a package of these because I bought some cute little bags for them what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them in jars and then people can decide which scents they want and I'll put them in a little bag for them. But uh, kind of like a candy selection. But I stepped on the bag and one of them went. <laughs> so these may be going into jars rather than bags. But the bags are so cute. I got to give them a try show you the bags at the end here. So it looks like I'm getting about 12 hand soaps from each one, which is awesome. Soap is and I could do an ASMR soap pods just with the sound of the traffic in the background. Sorry about that, guys. There's nothing I can do about that. 
I live on a busy street in a small metropolis. And that's just life. Probably just set this to music. You can watch me do this if you want. It's really soothing. It's kind of like brushing my bunnies. It's just a little bit like a soap cut. Okay, that's the sample size. <laughs> we had two little samples there. How small can she go? <laughs> Let's see if one of these is actually enough to wash your hands or not. If it is, I'm going to have to rethink things a little bit. Here we go. All right. So it's in the water. No, I think it is. No. It's pretty small. Little bubbles. Here your bubbles. All right, that's a sample size. Let's see if we can make some that little. I don't think I can. Make some this size now. I don't even know if it's possible. We're gonna try. That is probably an ambulance. You know, it's funny because you hear a lot of sirens in the background. I think Canada was a scary place. <laughs> Victoria is known as, which I know a little secret, the land of the newlywed. And the nearly dead. So people come here to honeymoon and retire. I'm just going to do one little sample one to see if we can, how small we can make them. I'm going to smush it out. Make it itty bitty like that. those. Yeah, the other one go. It's so small I can't find it. Yep, we can make them that little. Single use. <laughs> give these away as samples for free. And maybe people will come back and get some full size ones. I don't know. We've got pressure building. Just forcing them open. Which is not something I want. Oh. I don't know what that 
that's going to self seal. I don't know. Keep this clean. Shiny, shiny. Let's see what I can get here. Either two or one or three. It's just hard getting my finger in there. Try one more. Oh. This one kind of smushed itself open. Now I'm going to be doing some melt and pour single use soap as well called Soap Leaves. Scissors. I don't know why I'm even bothering. Just cut it with the scissors. So we can go really, really, really small with these, or we can go medium size, or we can go super big. So it depends on, let me show you a big, couple of these ones. Here's a big one. And that's unscented soap. There's another big one with my mermaid kisses. Medium. Teeny, teeny, tiny. You can barely see it there. Can you see the sizes? There. Boop. I'm going to do a rainbow of colors and put them in the, the market this weekend. And we'll see if anybody's interested. I love them. I think they're awesome. And, uh, even if nobody else, nobody buys them from my shop, I will still make them because I think they're awesome. Um, yeah, we all do different things with our craft and I am in love with this one right now. So, having fun. Sometimes we all find joy in different things. All right. I'm just going to separate these out. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is another itty bitty, isn't it? Yeah. It's just two, though. Three. so that's how it's done and this is the Satsuma soap so I've got lots and lots to do so I'll just cap it off I've got an extra lid here 